guys, welcome back. I know it's been a long time. I took a really long break from videos, mostly from the holidays. Also, there's not a really there's not really a whole lot that's been going on. I've been really looking forward to some more things happening, and um, I'm really just excited about the 2020 that's about to kick off. Uh, but we all know there's a lot of things going on with the, uh, the impeachment hearings that have been happening lately and Nancy Pelosi and Cory Booker just dropped out. I know they said that he was supposed to be the next Barack Obama. And um, there's just so many, so many things that I could talk about, but, you know, I'm not really the guy who just sits and likes to talk about things. I'm more of a footage guy. I like to... Uh, bring you raw footage of things that are happening. But lately, there just hasn't really been much happening. But I really hope things start happening soon and we get some more exciting things that I can go out and film and document and bring you more footage and more uh, more exciting stuff. But for now, I guess I could just talk about a few things like, well, that. I, I want to get back out there. Also, I've decided yeah, maybe I should stop being a little... I feel like I'm, I'm kind of a lazy person and... I want to start taking, like, do, do studying up a little bit more on the kind of footage I, I put out and how to how to do more edits. And um, I really want to just start producing more footage on regular on the regular. And I, I know for a while I was able to start getting out uh, a video like every week, at least once a weekend. And uh, I would like to at least get back to that, where I'm providing one video a week and try to get it to you on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, like, like before. If I, you know, if I can't do that, well, I don't think, th things, things are happening. At the same time with my real job, the thing is, the, my day job that gets all my bills paid, this year is going to be a big year for us, and the more I get done, the more money I'm going to be able to make, so that's also going to be able to help a lot. Uh, some of my equipment, my laptop, a lot of my stuff is just getting outdated, and, you know, it's, I'm I'm a little behind in in most fields of of my work, so you know, that's another thing. I I definitely need to get more. Uh, I'm going to be working a lot more, so whatever I get done in my day job is going to help me with with this as well. I'm sure when something important happens, I will be able to still take a day off and be able to travel wherever here and there, Berkeley, San Francisco, you know, whatever the the things are going down. But, um, yeah, I need to, I need to focus a lot more on making more money. This isn't really a money maker for me. Uh, like I've told you guys before, I did make some money before, but I wasn't able to get, um, I only got like 140 something dollars before YouTube shut me down. Recently though, with the whole Ann Coulter video, I was able to get my monetization back. I haven't been able to figure it out though. Maybe I need to do it on my laptop. I should look this up. I don't know. I keep going to the I went to the email and I'll be honest, it, it sends me to one page and then that when I click on that it just sends me back to the same. And it says you need to you need to you need to sign in. Sign in takes me one page and then you know you you need to sign in to go back and forth and back and forth and it just seems like it's impossible. I, I don't know, so I just I I I wish I can get my channel remonetized. It says I'm eligible to be remonetized, but I haven't been able to figure that out yet. And I don't know, maybe it's just another part of my laziness to, to figure this stuff out. But something else that I really, really want to talk about, you know, enough about me. Um, I, I am just, I'm really shocked about what the Democrats are doing with this whole, not just with the whole impeachment, part of the impeachment, but with, I, I gotta say it, are they really gonna pull another Bernie Sanders? with this, with this, it seems like what they're doing. I mean, we all know, any, but I, I did have some support for Bernie Sanders during the Trump campaign, but all, most of my love, the vast majority, about 95% of it, was for Donald Trump. But at the same time, to sit back and watch what they did, to see that the, clearly people wanted Bernie Sanders, and they did, didn't want Hillary Clinton. I'm sorry, if you honestly think that the people wanted Hillary Clinton, you're nuts, okay? I know people that literally admitted in the beginning that, like, you know, her hands are too dirty. They don't want Hillary Clinton. But then, it, it, in the end, they just, they just screwed everybody that was running on the Democrat side, and they handed it to Hillary Clinton. They, they set it up 
Just like we knew, we always knew that it was like that, that we didn't really choose who the next president was. They took, you know, they took the two candidates on both sides who were, who seemed to be the most likable, and then they decided which of those would work best for them and help the government, not screw the people, you know, it was all about what's good for their little apple cart. And it's hard for me to believe that they didn't learn a thing. That that, that was a stupid idea. It didn't matter all, all the lying and cheating and scams they did to just boost up Hillary Clinton and make her win. No, rigged the election and she still lost. Did they really not learn a thing? Are they really about to do it again? They're going to pull a Bernie Sanders on all these other candidates again. And on Bernie Sanders. Again. So I got another bet going right now with somebody that is uh, $100. They say that Joe Biden is going to get the nominee. I'm saying that it's not going to be Joe Biden. But now, I don't know. I, that's It's kind of what it's seeming like. That the Democrats don't give a damn what their voters want. I mean, the, the, Bernie, the Bernie bros, they're like... They're a huge, huge, significant chunk of the Democrat voters. And they're just saying, screw them all. And they're going to prop Joe Biden up all the way to the top. And they're going to make sure that Joe Biden gets it. They don't want Joe Biden. Joe Biden... I, I don't want to... I can sit here and just talk a bunch of shit about Joe Biden, but God, the people don't want Joe Biden. And, and, and really just blows my mind to see them actually do it again and to think that they didn't learn a damn thing the first time. I, I, I don't know what else to say to that, but I, that's, that's been on my mind for a long time and I've been really wanting to talk about that. And uh, I, I kind of want to get your guys' opinions on that. What, you know, like, do, you, do you really think that they're going to do this? I mean, with the whole election thing too, it, it seems like, the, uh, I guess, um, Bernie Sanders is uh, ahead in Iowa, ahead of everyone else, and um, something is going to come out of this with, with, um, with Bernie Sanders and the impeachment to where he's not going to be able to... Uh, I don't know. He's not going to be able to something. I got to pay more attention to that. But it's gonna it's gonna keep him from from running in some way. But re regardless, they're they're pulling all these moves to screw all the candidates that are in favor by their voters and just prop up whoever they want. I don't want to see this happen again. And I mean, look at me. I sound like I care about the. I care about the Democrats. You know, I care about the voter. You're doing a lot, a lot of damage when you make your voters think that their vote doesn't matter. And my God, you know, the government in general has done that enough. And right now, I mean, the Democrats, you, this is half the people voting right now in this country. You're doing it pretty hardcore. What's going to happen if you, if you do this again, you... If, ugh, Imagine you do this again and you lose anyways. You're going to lose because because you're going to lose your base. What is that going to do? You're going to have huge amounts of people who are going to lose they're going to lose all their all of their what's the word? They're going to lose they're going to lose all their confidence in their vote. They're going to think that their vote doesn't matter. You don't want to do that. But I'm, I'm just a guy who sits behind a camera and doesn't even know why he's relevant. So don't listen to me. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you're new. Like if you agree with anything I'm saying. And I, please give me your input. Who do you think is going to be the, the runner-up? Are they really going to pull another Bernie with all the candidates? Are they going to pull another Bernie on Bernie? And do you think that, the, that they're going to lose their base and that people who vote Democrat, maybe people who vote in general, just might lose their lose their confidence in their vote and think that their vote doesn't matter you know there's got to be some integrity and there's no integrity here